friends. This is my craft room. It doesn't look like most people's craft rooms. But I like things that are a little different. So this was my dining room. And it's turned into a craft room. I'm going to try to walk slow so I don't make anybody sick. Okay, so I love old things. I love things that belong to my family. I love things that that just make my heart happy. So, starting right here, these I got at an estate auction, and they belong to a man who repaired watches for Sears since the beginning of time. And the man passed away, and we went to an estate sale, and I said, oh my, those are a little piece of heaven. So, they are my Ikea alternative. So, in these drawers, I keep doodads, stamps, um, distress ink, my oxides, my embossing powders, more stamps. I keep ephemera down here. And because these were watchmaking cabinets, this is the pedal that they would use to pop the crystals off. And we removed them from these other two cabinets here. Mm -hmm. So I could still have the storage, but I wanted to keep it on one. And on the very top of this, uh, right here. Okay, so this is what they would put the crystal in. And then he would pump the pedal and it would come down and put it in there. So there's a little bit of history. This crazy thing right here is my best friend. <laughs> I made some pictures of her on a on a website and um, replaced what she had on and then I'll put her in this crazy jar. This rabbit was my first attempt at paper mache. Those were some creations my, my Lily made me. This was my mother's train case and I have all my specialty paper in it, like glitters and um, foils and acetates and things like that. And then up here is a Christmas tree that I made out of wooden spools that came from my grandmother's house. And that's a button jar that came from my great grandmother's and it's been passed down. And then my crazy little man, I found him in a state cell and thought he was hysterical because he holds a paintbrush in his mouth. I'm sure some kid did that in a school project. And anyway, I thought it was funny. Things that entertain me. I like to put in here. Okay, these purple cabinets are more of the same. They just happen to be purple. And these things were filled with watch crystals. So I have thousands of watch crystals. And one day I'm gonna come up with a brilliant idea of what I can do with all these things. But so far I haven't. This is a vintage bread box. It has some stamps in it that I use really often. Um, these are more stamps. I keep them in CD cases and they're labeled on top. These are, they're actually pastel drawers, but I keep my Prismacolors in them and my Tombows and my Sharpies. This table is from World War II and they used it um, like in tents on the field and I use it to store my stuff. And then this is the insert from a toolbox that I keep um, ephemera, thickers, things in that are too big to go in my little containers. And then in this old metal file cabinet down here is some eight and a half by 11 um, foil, glitter, that kind of card stuck, stock, excuse me. This has got my sidekick in it and my scrap papers. And then over here, my envelopes. And up here, this is another table from World War II. And in this drawer are all my enamel dots. That's what I keep my heat tool in. And I got these mannequin hands and made myself a paper towel holder because it makes me laugh. And then there's a safe deposit box right there and it has things that I grab all the time. My glues, um, 
certain uh, embossing folders, things like that. Um, okay, my grandbabies call me Tootsie, so that's right there, Tootsie. And then this funky hand I attached to this, and one of the kids gave me this frog, so he sits in the hand. And let's see, over here, and this, this is a vintage aluminum tray, and it has all my, they're called confetti in there, and I have them in little containers that I got at Harbor Freight. On this table is my small um, guillotine cutter that I have handy, and my um, scoreboard, my tape runner, electric pencil sharpener, some tissues, all kinds of scissors, more markers, more Prismacolors, you know, doodads, my scissors that I use all the time. In this safety deposit box, I keep whatever is like seasonal that I'm working on a lot. My Tim Holtz glass mat, my laminator, a candy bowl that was my best friend's mother's. Um, there's some cards that I've made recently. This tin is an old fruitcake tin. You can see that. I could just stand my stuff up in that. Okay, over here. This is another vintage file cabinet. The top has all my eight and a half by eleven solid card stock. And the bottom's where I keep all my Halloween um dies and stamps and everything. My rolling cart has my 12 by 12 and some 8 by 8s and then just my address book and some miscellaneous hoot nanny. And then this cabinet is actually the base of a cash register and a, a big brass cash register, which I have in the garage that um, the hubs is working on. It will eventually be in here on top of it. It's beautiful. Um, but I use all the drawers like I did in a state cell too, and it weighs about a thousand pounds, but not as much as the cash register that goes on top of it. This is marble. This is how the cash register, the cash register actually sat here. And every one of these drawers was numbered and it's a mechanical system in the back. And I just keep my, any type of stuff in there that fits in the little holes. The top drawer was the one that was actually used the most. I actually found was able to find the history of this and where all it had been because I started researching it when I bought it and um, it said that on one of the drawers there would be an original bill of sale. And I thought, no, there's no way. But I, I pulled all the drawers out and sure enough, there it was. It was sold in 1910 to a family that came over here um, as immigrants and they started a business and they would travel to places by rivers and set up shops and sell dry goods and things like that. And so I actually um, know the names of the people that owned it. I know the salesman's name that sold it to them. Uh, I just think it's so fascinating. And this cash register was made so that each employee had their own cash drawer. So there would be no mistakes about whose money, who was responsible for what bunch of money. But obviously the first drawer was the one that was used the most because you can see fingernail prints where they scrape the money out to count it. So anyway, I think that's so cool. And I got this in an estate sale just a magazine rack. I cut a lot of my 12 by 12s in half and put there because mainly I make cards. And this set of Easter houses, I love to make little houses. And one time at a flea market, I got this huge bin of uh, broken jewelry. And so I cut it apart and I, I have Christmas, a set of Christmas houses and a set of Halloween houses too. And I make these houses and then I decorate them and they're just fun. And then this, like, you know, I said this was a dining room. So this is my sideboard. 
and it's a glitter heaven. And when we go to estate sales, they always have these crystal salt and pepper shakers. I mean, like for $2. And so I thought, I'm, that's what I'm going to put my, my glitter in, my, my big chunky glitter. And so that's what all my glitter's in. And that's a um, printer's tray at the top with some stamps in it. And my big kick and another um, cutter it's for my for my big papers and a creaser. And then um, in this drawer are all my ribbons. Ooh, that was probably too fast. This has ribbon. This side has washi and rick rack. This one has adhesives. I don't know if I can get up with one hand. Oh yeah. My adhesives. All ready to get. And then there's actually china and stuff in the rest of them. And then these are all toolboxes that belong to my dad. And I have all my acrylic paint in one and all my big time adhesives in one. And let's go here. This is another antique file cabinet. And I have it here because it has all my dies in it and my embossing folders. And this is what they look like. That's embossing folders. These are dies that have stamps to match. And in the bottom are all my other dies. And they're just in alphabetical order as to what they are. Okay, over here. This is a gun case that a man made from World War II. And his name's on the bottom of it. He signed it and dated it and everything. And so that's where my 6x6 six six pads are. And I have them in order by maker. Okay, so my grandkids and my daughter live with us. So this is where Lily does her homework. And it's a, actually a table that we use camping that completely folds up. It has little chairs that fit inside it. Um, when I was a child, we used it. And so this is my scan and cut. And there's my gold prison full. And all this stuff is hers, you know, that she, the rest of this stuff, that she uses when she does her homework and when she crafts with me. And my alt light. And this cabinet is a bar from the 1920s and we removed the insides of it that actually would hold bottles of course we kept them but and i changed the knobs um but the top of it opens but in the top section it has all my christmas everything paper and everything the bottom it has more 12 by 12. and this is a sugar chest that came from, that i inherited from my mom there's a typewriter that she used. I remember as a kid, she could type so fast on this typewriter. And <laughs> it's really funny. We get, we're so used to computers now. And you just touch them. You know, I'm going to walk over here and show you if I can. You have, to, you have to push down real hard. And it's just amazing to me that, you know, we've come so far. Anyway, there's a big paper cutter. There's my collection of little Easter things and over here and the reason I'm down in had to remove my stuff to the dining room is because my kids moved back in so um I relocated so that's why it's wall-to-wall -wall furniture but you know it works for me and it makes me happy in the top of this cabinet I have all my we are memory keepers boards um that actually has china and stuff in it and that's a collection my husband's collection of canes and an antler arrangement. He's a deer hunter and some wooden weights. So anyway, that's my craft room. Not your usual plastic bins and, and um, nice flat furniture, but it makes my heart happy. It serves all my purposes. And I just wanted to put a video out there to show that there are alternatives and oh i didn't show you this this is a 
um, wooden box that was carried from store to store and they sold chewing tobacco in it and it was called Tingle and I've got my Inka Dinka Do stamps in there. All of them go in there. And then this cabinet underneath was a shoe shine cabinet and I left the the original things in it, but it's got extra glitter in there. It's got inks in it. It's, these little things, these old things are such good sizes for my purposes. And um, oh, let me show you these things. These are sewing things that came from my grandmother's. Look, 39 cents. <laughs> Can openers, a Lipton tea. That's a Lipton tea advertisement. It's full of needles. I like sewing needles. It was a promotion. That's a clothesline. Um, matchsticks. These are called Four Eyes. They're um, bottle openers, and they were in bars, and they have four eyes because, you know, if you become intoxicated, <laughs> you see double. So that's the kind of a little joke there. And, okay. I guess that's it. That's outside. It's a beautiful day out there. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And, you know, this is my jam right here. This is my happy place. Y'all have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye-bye.